friends, what's up? Welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Selena. I'm an economist and a content creator in the Washington DC area, sharing my life in my 20s, living alone. So if you're into that sort of thing, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Today's video is gonna be really, really fun. I thought it would be a good idea to start resetting for the new year. I was recently traveling back home in Oregon, then in Chicago, and now it's time to get my life back on track, try to get back into a routine. To start the new year off strong. Feeling a little bit under the weather and kind of sick because I wanted to start resetting yesterday, but I've just been taking it slow. Today I'm feeling a lot better. Also, it's such a beautiful day outside and I also have tomorrow off. So I'm gonna make my reset like a two day reset, which is usually what I would do on the weekend anyway. If I do a two day reset, what I typically do is one of the days I have a little bit more fun and relaxation. So I'm gonna go to brunch and just kind of chill and then prepare some things for tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be super productive because I truly think that whether it's a productive day, productive week, productive weekend, that the process should be like enjoyable and it doesn't all need to be 100% productive. So anyway, that's my little spiel on that. We're about to head out to brunch and I'm just gonna be bringing you guys along. So I hope that y'all enjoy. And if you do like videos like this and wanna see more, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Also comment down below how your new year is going so far. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. came and got a Starbucks real quick, but now we're headed to Home Depot. This Starbucks is the best, the new like pistachio latte with an extra shot of espresso. She's good, I recommend. But now I need to go to Home Depot to get a couple of things. If we find it, I will show you all what I got. Look at this rice cooker. <laughs> it's so fancy. Okay, yeah, this is so fancy, isn't it? <gasps> Whoa, so nice. We just made it back from Costco. I am so tired, but we need to put away the food. We ordered food because we don't want to cook because it's already 6.30 p.m. So yeah, that's the status update. Oh, we got pretzel bites. Let's snack on those too. Quick little haul. Got pretzel bites that we're gonna try right now because we're really hungry. I swear every time we go to Costco, we end up getting the shrimp cocktails because we both really like it. Oh well. Belgian waffles. This with some cream cheese or like maple syrup and berries in the morning. It's different. Some tzatziki to go with the pita chips that we already have. Some oat milk because David is lactose intolerant. Some salami because we'd be eating cheese and crackers every day. Smoked salmon to have with like avocado toast or cream cheese toast. Frozen salmon 
for dinners this week. Not including today, obviously. And then I got these. These are not the ones that I went to pick up. Oh, yes. And <laughs> what are they called? I think it's fabric softener. In-wash scent booster. Yeah, those are really good. So I went to go pick up these like fruit and vegetable storage containers that they had over there. But they didn't have any large ones. So I ended up just getting this Tupperware which I think will probably work better because I think you're supposed to store your fruits and vegetables in airtight containers if you want them to last longer anyway. So we'll see, I'll let y'all know. friends good morning welcome to day two of the reset trying to get back into a routine and part of that is getting ready for the day I'm trying to do that more and be more intentional about literally just putting on tinted moisturizer with sunblock in it every single day because it's good for my skin and also just makes me feel like I put myself together and gives me more confidence for the day drinking coffee and water and having breakfast so I did that all this morning as well as take my medications and my vitamins because I always notice that doing that in the mornings just sets me up for a better day and just makes me feel so much better throughout the week if I can stay consistent with it. It's the new year trying to find ways to find a more balanced and healthy morning routine and just day-to-day -day routine if I'm being quite honest because when I am on track on track with my routine I just feel more confident more energetic and all the things and with that said I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video which is Care Of. If you haven't heard of them Care Of is a subscription supplement service that makes it super easy to stay to a consistent vitamin routine. I don't know what it is for me with working out or taking my vitamins. I enjoy doing it and I always feel so much better when I get it done. But for some reason, like the prep work of figuring out what vitamins to take, what workouts to do, etc., is really what stops me from being and staying consistent. So Care of just makes it so, so convenient. You take this quiz online and you get a personalized set of vitamins sent straight to your door that you take every single day. And it helps you get closer to your own health and fitness goals, which I think is super cool. So I took their quiz and they sent me this personalized box with 30 packs of my own customized daily vitamins. And it's so cute every single day that you read it. It has like a today's fact or a question of the day, which is a really cute little personalized touch. I got two little pills here that I take every single morning. It feels good to know that I'm just creating such a healthy habit for myself and that I'm also taking vitamins that I know are customized to help me attain my own goals. So not only did they send me my vitamins, but they also have other supplements and I'm currently taking their unflavored collagen, which you saw me make my chai latte with this morning. I've been adding this to my chai lattes, my coffees. It even goes well with tea, oatmeal, smoothies, whatever it is that you like to have in the mornings or throughout the day this pairs really really well I can't even taste it and it also has nine grams of protein per serving which is one thing that I'm trying to work on this year is really just adding more nutrition into my diet not restricting and not cutting out any food groups so having supplements like this from care of has just truly made it so much easier for me to reach my health and wellness goals and starting the new year off strong who doesn't love that so I've been taking the collagen and they also sent me these electrolytes if you're not new around here you know that I kind of struggle with like getting my water intake in every single day. I'm not gonna say that it's perfected now and this is by no means any kind of magic pill but I do think that it has helped me to just remember to be more mindful about taking in more water and electrolytes just help keep you hydrated throughout the day which is really really good for me personally because again these supplements are very much personalized to my own health and wellness goals so there might be some other supplements that you'd be more interested in but these are the ones that they recommended to me after I 
I took the quiz. And so I definitely recommend if you're interested in trying to figure out, you know, what vitamins and supplements might work best for you, definitely take their quiz because I found that to be super helpful. So if you're interested in trying care of out for yourself, make sure to take care of's quiz to find out what is recommended for you. And make sure to use my code Selena50 to get 50% off your first order of care of. My link will be down in the description if you want to check them out. Thank you once again to care of for sponsoring today's video. But with all of that said, it's time to make a little to-do list and kind of figure out and plan what it is that I need to get done for the rest of this reset because there's quite a bit on my list and I'm definitely going to take advantage of this day off that I have from work. So let's get into it. Heck yes, I'm so excited for this. I am absolutely obsessed with Vietnamese coffee and I ordered one of these from Grubhub from a place pretty close by but I didn't want to walk there because it would still take me about an hour to walk there and back. So definitely excited for this. This Vietnamese coffee is life-changing. I get it with the jellies and then I also get the honey boba. Y'all, this is amazing. I highly, highly recommend. Oh my gosh, so good. Yes. <laughs> So let's walk through my to-do list. I'm not gonna list out every single thing that's on my to-do list. We're just gonna get through it. So step one is going to be to undecorate my apartment and put away all of my Christmas decorations. So I recently bought all of these plants at Ikea and Home Depot and as you can see this Monstera is in pretty bad shape which is how I found her. So I'm hoping that I can bring her back to life. I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't have like the greenest thumb and I just want to practice. I know for sure this pothos is going to grow beautifully and I brought some soil. I bought some soil from Home Depot so I definitely want to repot this into this big wide one. I think this will look really pretty in the corner of the living room. And then I actually need to order a plant stand for the Monstera and for the Ficus florata or the fiddle leaf as it's known, I think. I need to repot these plants and then clean off the leaves for these bigger ones because they're pretty dusty, so. I definitely need to order a new plant pot for the fiddle leaf and for the monstera but for now I just watered them and let them drain but I want to make sure that the fiddle leaf gets some sun so I'm going to just put it in this like bowl so that I can continue to drain but also get some sun. Ah. 
I am absolutely loving the new additions. I'm hoping that I'll be a good plant mom and that they will survive. But for now, I love how they look. The Monstera needs a lot of work, so I'm hoping for the best. So I finished repotting the plants that I can do today. I still need to order new pots, but I'm gonna save that for later because I don't technically need daylight in order to do that. So now I'm gonna do laundry. I have some laundry right here that I need to fold, but mainly I have a ton of clothes that I need to throw in the wash. So after that, I'm gonna tackle the bathroom because it's a mess. So uh, let's do it. After I got back from Chicago, I did unpack everything. So I was very proud of myself for that. However, I haven't like fully put everything where it belongs. So that's why this reset is so important for me to get back on track with even organization in my apartment and all of that. So that way I can start my work week off strong with everything where it should be and everything kind of back in its place. Listen, I don't know about y'all, but I am definitely not always organized and clean, but I like to be organized and clean, if that makes sense. Like, I feel my best when things are in the right place and tidied up. I really need this. I really need this reset. Hopefully this is inspiring y'all to also go do the thing that will make you feel better if you just get it done, but maybe you've been putting it off or maybe you haven't had time to do it like me. Listen, I don't know about y'all, but I definitely have junk drawers and they need to be organized, okay? I have all kinds of stuff in here that doesn't need to be in here, so I'm gonna do that. see what else I have on my to-do list. Put the laundry to wash. Now I want to open my Amazon packages so that I can recycle that. So I think this is my plant stand, but I don't need this yet because I don't have the pot. So I'm just gonna put this in my closet for now. This I need to wash. These are the last shot glasses for at-home wellness shots that I wanna make. I need to wash these and the little funnels that I bought for it as well so that I can make some wellness shots tonight. I think I have the produce for it. I need to double check. I also got a new lamp from Ikea. It's the same one that I have in Oregon, but I wanted to get one for here because I absolutely love the one that I got in my bedroom in Oregon. It has a wireless charger on it. It's white. It's really helpful once it starts getting dark, like right now. Around four o'clock, it usually was starting to get dark. And especially during my busy seasons where I work super late, it's just really helpful to have some good light. So I'm not sure if I will keep this lamp here or if I'll put it on the desk in my room because it gets really dark in my bedroom and I actually have lights here that I can use, but we'll see. Regardless, it looks really nice. I'm about to expose myself. My bathroom is, it's a hot mess. It's been probably like a month, over a month since I've cleaned it. 
because it was already a little bit messy and then I had to leave to Oregon for the holidays and I hadn't been back. I've been back home for a week now and this is this is what it's looking like and it's just, I need to clean it, it's bad. So really quickly, this is the before. There's just a mess and I need to wipe down at these counters. I need to wipe down this mirror. But once that's done, I'm going to also throw the bath mats to wash as well. And then like I said, I'm gonna leave the vacuuming and the mopping to my boyfriend so he'll probably get that done at some point this week after work or it's okay if he can't get it done until saturday finish all the cleaning that I want to get done. So I'm going to wash these and fill them with any produce that I need to put in the fridge or keep in the fridge. So we'll see what we have in the fridge. This has way more than I thought it did. I washed the new Tupperware, so now I'm going to wash whatever produce I have in my fridge and then dry it off. So I'm not really following like in any specific recipe, so wish me luck. These might taste really bad, but I'm putting stuff that's good for us in it, so... I mean, I don't think immunity shots need to taste delicious. I think the whole point of them is that it makes you feel something and that it's good for your body. So I really enjoyed taking them when I was in Oregon. My dad got some from Costco, like the popular ginger shots that people have been taking. But I just felt so guilty using like a different little plastic shot every day that I was inspired to just try making my own at home. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> This is pretty much the only produce I have right now because I'm gonna use this for meal prep. I just need to buy some broccoli and I'll probably use like half of this, if not most of this, for a stir fry later in the week, probably tomorrow night or something. I just need to get some broccoli. We'll see how long it lasts in this airtight container. If you have any tips for me, please let me know down below. Okay, these are the ingredients that I'm gonna use for my wellness shots. Again, I'm not following any exact recipe, so I'm just gonna kinda wing it.
살겜이니까 그런 말 하지마 내게 도움 쉬운 일은 아냐 따뜻한 현실의 무게가 So I, again, was not following a recipe. So I actually have a lot of extra, which works out for me because I have all of my shots ready for me. I think I'm gonna aim to take two per day, one in the morning, one like after my workout or after lunch or something. It definitely has a kick to it because of the ginger, cayenne pepper, pepper, orange rind, all the things. I can just tell it's gonna be so good for me and I've really been enjoying taking shots. I feel like it's such a fun way for me to take in even more nutrients and vitamins and stuff and i think in the future i'll probably make different ones i definitely love like beets anyway i'm gonna put the extra into this container to keep in the fridge so i feel like this actually was the perfect amount for two people <laughs> So it's almost 7 o'clock, barely having dinner, which is also my lunch. I didn't really stop to eat earlier, so I'm really hungry. I got a lot done today. I'm going to do some laundry tonight while I watch Shit's Creek. I'm on episode 5 already, which makes me so sad because that means it's going to end soon. <sighs> I don't want it to end. I got a lot done, but it's time to relax, you know? Anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed today's resets and spending the day with me, getting things done, crossing things off of my to-do list. If you did, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also make sure to check out care of like I mentioned before you can take their quiz if you would like to check them out make sure to use the link down in the description and also make sure to use Selena 50 to get 50% off of care of thank you all so so much for watching I love you all so much if I don't see you all down in the comment section then I hope to see you all in the next video